Fionn here and welcome back to Pokemon Christmas. This woman is staring at us and it makes me feel uncomfortable. In the last episode we took on Bugsy of the Azalea Town Gym and I don't know why I went into my gear but we received the Hive Badge from him. And in this episode we will obviously be first walking into this house because I want to. Wow, they were stealing from the Deli Bird? That's terrible. I can't believe someone would want to pull that mess. But yes, in this episode we're going to be kicking things off by heading over to Ilex Forest. Okay, apparently not because Chris wants to battle. Matt, is it true? Has Team Rocket really returned? Wow, you beat them? That's amazing! I won't be much of a match compared to them, but could we battle? Now I mean, she says she isn't going to be much of a match, but I bet she is and she's probably lying. Vulpix, right, and we're starting off okay with Donna, that's fine. I was worried that it was Comet that, took, that was at the front of my party. But Tail Whip? Uh, uh, that's Wait, doesn't Vulpix use primarily special attacks though? Uh, but it's trying to do more than one Tail Whip and I'm not happy with that. Oh, there we go. Uses Tail Whip. Only uses special attacks. Good going, Chris. This is why I defeated your Vulpix. And Donna grows to level 18. Uh, no, okay then, that's fine. And Chris is about to use Marrow. So in comes Comet. I don't know why, but in the in like the regular gold and silver games. I always had problems with this rival battle, and I don't know why. I don't know. It was be I don't know whether it was just because when I first played it, played this game, I was a terrible trainer. It may well have been that, but I always just always used to have trouble against the rival battles. But anyway, her second Pokemon is defeated, and last up is a Pidgey. So you know what, Donna, you can come back in because Comet isn't going to be much use. And speaking of Comet not being much use right now, next, the next area is going to be a forest predominantly filled with bugs. And I accidentally delete a tackle from Comet, so she, again, she isn't going to be much use. Oh well, I'm not surprised I lost. I guess I'll just have to train my Pokemon. Huzzah! Money! Even though I lost, I still love to battle. It helps you learn what you can improve, you know? Maybe next time I'll be a better match for you. In the meantime, never stop your training. I'm gonna keep at it too. And maybe one day I'll be even stronger than you are. Best of luck! And she walks directly away from the Pokemon Center. I mean, I'm not entirely sure why she'd do that, but oh well. Yes, please heal my Pokemon. And I shall take a drink while she does so. Right, Pokemon fully healed. Now I wish to switch Comet first, seeing as though she is the lowest level. And now I'm wondering, will Ilex Forest have much change to it? Like, will there be any different Pokemon, seeing as though... It's going to be, like, technically a forest, but in winter. Watched over by its protector, stay out of mischief. I mean, it doesn't really look much different, other than it being a, having a white floor. Hey, I heard you saved all those Delibird back in Azalea. As a token of my appreciation, I want you to have this hate charm. Yay! Is it cut? That's cut. Pokemon can clear small trees, you have to have the gym badge, and I do indeed. He disappeared. Ah, oh, look at that. Not there. There. Not there. There. Not there. There. Okay, I'll stop now and I'll teach. I think I'll probably just teach Cut to... Um... Uh, what do you may call it? Comet can learn? Ooh, actually. No, I'll just teach it to Blitzen because... I'll be honest, at this point I'm not really too bothered. I mean, it'll just be a normal attack that um, I'll get rid of. 
I'll get rid of Scratch. Because, I mean, I'll probably... Unless Blitzen doesn't get many good moves, I will just probably end up, like, not having it learn Slash. And that was a much more difficult sentence than it needed to be, and I don't know why. Now, isn't this where you normally chase the far-fetched around? Uh, Caterpie, a Metapod. So the, there's Caterpie, Metapod, and Paris. So it looks like it. It looks like it's very much of the same Pokemon, and not much has been changed. No, oh, go away, Paris! I don't need you. Oh well, there's actually there's a Paris there if you don't have anything that knows Cut. And I was going to, it, I was about to say, it looks like you don't have to chase that, that far-fetched around. At least, so, oh my gosh, stop. I don't have any repels, leave me alone. Ooh, a Leddy Bar. Wow, that looks, that Leddy Bar looks angry. Right, oh, nope, I'm headed the wrong way. Oh my gosh. Can I buy repels? Oh, actually, while I'm here, you know, I'm just going to Sonic Speed, I accidentally... I hate this. I literally hate this. I want it all to die. There was literally Pokemon appearing like every four damn steps. Now, I am going to be pretty annoyed if I can't buy repels at all. Even just... Oh, look at charcoal. Oh, thank God repels. I don't care if I'm wasting a good almost half of my money. I am not running into a Pokemon every four steps. Especially when I wish to actually carry on with this game. Right. Oh look, the charcoal man's gone as well. This tree can be cut down. Yes, I shall cut it down. There we go. Ooh, there's an item here. Received a Stardust. Aren't they just for selling? Ilex Forest Shrine. It's in honour of the forest's protector. Good for you, Ilex Forest. Alright, ooh, a sign. Is there normally a sign here? Ilex Forest is overgrown with trees that you can't see the sky. Please watch out for items that may have been dropped. Eh. You mean like here? Oh. <laughs> I wasn't actually expecting to, there to be an item there, but... I shall take of it anyway. And... Oh, oh, isn't that the child who teaches headbutt? And that looks like there's going to be an item there. And there is indeed. Shrewboy 313, super detective. Oh, Riffel? Repel, right. I don't care that it may be a little cheap just to avoid every battle by using repels, but I don't want to run into anything in here. What am I doing? I'm shaking trees using headbutt. It's fun. Here, try it. You try it too. Right, can anything learn headbutt? Sleeping Pokemon may fall out, yes. And as well, as far as just like general attacks go, headbutt's actually not a bad one. I mean, if you can teach it to like a fast enough Pokemon, it could be pretty like devastating seeing as it has like 70 base power. Uh, now Blitzen already has a normal attack in the way of, uh, in the way of what do you Majigger? I can't remember. I can't remember what I was saying. In the way of cut, not scratch. Uh, no, I won't teach it just yet. I might see if there's anything in the coming areas that I'm actually interested in catching. And it looks like there's an item there. I was correct. Right. Yeah, maybe... I know there's like a, f a patch of grass or two just on the route as we leave the forest. So, oh, can't you get... Oh, <laughs> perfect timing as well. Repels effect wore off. Did you see the shrine? Yes, I did. I don't care. Oh, honey, you're making a Pokedex? It must be hard if Pokemon won't appear. Try using this TM. And I don't know why she went southern halfway through that, but oh well. And yes, it TM12 contains sweet scent. That's one of the few TMs that I actually remember the location of. 
Are these battles? Yes, they are. This is where I do my training. Isn't he a psychic who has a... Oh, okay. Samuel. For some reason, I had it in my mind that... It, that's a Spiro. I had it in my mind for some reason that... He was a psychic and he had... I don't know why I thought he had a... A drowsy. I honestly don't know why I completely thought he had a drowsy. Right. Oh, well, there we go. There, there's drowsy. I knew there were drowsy around here. I just didn't know whether it was a train who had them or not. I just got my Pokemon back from daycare. Let's see how much stronger it got. And, oh, a snubble gross. Alright, Comet, let's try that poison powder you missed. There we go, it only took three attempts. God, remember how useful Aria Cake was with her powder attacks? And then we have Comet here who's just blowing it constantly. Right, Pokefan Brandon, why does it always end that? That was a little morbid. Why does it always end that way? It sounds like someone's dying. Oh, there are trainers everywhere. Let's have a practice battle. Uh, bite. It's only an oddish. And ooh, a Bulbasaur as well. I don't care, I'm just speeding through all of her Pokemon. She don't deserve no time. Which means technically she does deserve time. She doesn't deserve any time, let's just go back there. And let's switch out because even as a flying type, Donna can still do nothing against fighting types. And Diglett, huzzah, 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 goodbye. Is there anything else in this grass? Oh, there's a ditto, okay. I mean, I don't need it, but... You know, I'll... I'll bite it. And then, I'll throw that free lure ball we got at it. And if this doesn't catch it, I will just KO it, because... As cool as ditto are, I have no need for one. That's fine, then. So let's just bite. I was going to say let's just bite it and be on our way, but... Oh god, it's Joey again. <laughs> Matt, howdy! It's me, Joey. Isn't it nice out? How are your Pokemon doing? My Rattata's really energetic. It's a handful. Oh yeah, I managed to beat a tough Rattata. I need to make my party stronger. See you later! Now, technically, Joey has actually called us twice today. Oh, there is a PC. Good. Yes, I know. I'm just going to deposit Donna and then... Oh, look, there's that bell sprout. And, and withdraw her again. And there we go. Good. Because what I was going to say is I was hoping that um, I would be able to heal my Pokemon just by dumping it off in a... Um, dumping it off in a PC box. And met. Oh, is this the kid with the drowsy? And there's nothing there in that grass that I want. I'm confident confident in my ability to raise Pokemon. Want to see? Well, I mean, I get the feeling I don't have much of a choice in the matter right here. Mr. Todd. Oh, no, it was a Psyduck. I'm sure there was a trainer that had a drowsy somewhere. Oh, well. I don't know. Donna's leveled up and learnt Confuse Ray, so... That's a thing nonetheless. Oh well. But with that, we have arrived here in Goldenrod City, the main hub of Johto, I believe it is. And I think with the arrival in this city, I'm going to leave it here for this episode. So thank you for watching, and I will see you guys next time in Pokemon Christmas. <laughs>